The Trinity Department of Theater Arts has been providing Trinity High School with high quality performances for the last 43 years. With the assistance of an experienced staff, Trinity High School theater participants learn top-notch skills and aspects such as acting, singing, and dancing. With 91 productions under their belt since 1967, this theater has drawn regional and local acclaim. Every great icon has a story, an inspiration, and a stepping stone. Trinity's theater department is no different. The theater's continuity of excellence, the members' fight for perfection, and the staff's perseverance wasn't something that started overnight. It all began with a man that has always had a passion for theater. His name is Theodore Sands, and this is his story. Father Theodore Sands was born in 1934 in the West End of Louisville. He is the oldest of five children. His experiences as the oldest of five children taught him the basic lessons of leadership. These early experiences eventually led him to become an inspiration to many individuals at Trinity High School. Father Sands' involvement in the theater began in grade school at Holy Cross Parish and continued at St. Meinrad's Arch Abbey, located in Indiana, where he began directing one-act plays. In 1959, Father Sands started teaching at Trinity. He only taught there for one year, but came back in 1966. In 1967, a year after his return, Father Sands began Trinity's Department of Theater Arts. For the first five years, the department performed its shows off campus. In 1972, the department welcomed its newest member, Mr. William P. Bradford II. It was a large theater department. Um, the productions were done at St. Francis of Rome. And uh, then um, uh, within the year that I came here, they built a small theater on the third floor of uh, Old Trinity Hall and that's where the program developed in my time. By that time, Trinity's Theater Department had got off to a good start, although it wasn't for a while until the program actually began to evolve. By the late 1970s, Trinity's Theater Department had evolved immensely. Mr. Bradford was now in charge of the artistic aspect while Father Sands ran the technical operations. In 1978, Father Sands realized that the Theater Department was too big to perform in Trinity's limited classrooms and hallways. This thought led to the beginning of the program's own auditorium, which would open a year later. This old VFW building was already standing during that time, but when Trinity bought out the property, Father Sands knew that this would be the theater's future home. Father Sands continued to inspire many of the students and faculty members through his leadership and dedication as a teacher and a priest. Not only was he the founder of the theater department, but he was also the founder of the Trinity Singers, and he was the advisor of the Echo. He also taught advanced English. Father Sands retired in 1985. Although he was no longer present at Trinity from that day on, his legacy still has an impact on Trinity today. Very, very enthusiastic. 
enthusiastic person, and his enthusiasm ran through his classes, through his to the theater department, to his attendance at every other kind of event in the school. Um, he was very, very joyous about the spirit of Trinity High School. But just as a good friend and a fellow priest, I mean, uh, Ted and I have been friends for years and still to this day, even though he's been gone from Trinity since the mid-80s, uh, we still uh, are good friends and have dinner on a regular basis and uh, enjoy each other's company. In fact, whenever the theater department puts on a production, Father Sands is always present.